All right, that's uh, the dog walk done. He sure likes uh, he sure likes that style of walking off the leash out in nature. He's definitely more uh, energized when he's when he's on that style of dog walk. All right. So we're off to Abbotsford. See if I can give you guys a tour and explain explain what I meant when I said that Abbotsford is a very unimaginative, dull, boring town. And uh, if you disagree, that's fair enough. Like I said, I, I lived there for 20 years. It was an okay place to raise your kids. Sure. But uh, more on that when we get to Abbotsford. Right now I'm traveling on Keith Wilson and we'll hit number three and then we'll hit the highway and in we go. All right, so we've left Chilliwack and now we're on the uh, very edge of Abbotsford where all development has stopped because it's all farmland and, and parks. So we're on Whatcom. This is the Whatcom exit. Very dangerous exit. A lot of accidents because a lot of tourists pull in and out <clears throat> on and off, I guess, of the highway to uh, go to the service stations and the little uh, strip mall restaurants so our first attraction in Abbotsford is this castle fun park now as far as city attractions go it's actually not bad what you're looking at immediately in front of us is a outdoor putt and bounce mini golf I'm from Saskatchewan we call it putt and bounce that little dome over there, well, it's actually quite big. That houses indoor go-karts. It also houses um, indoor batting cages, shooting ranges, and things like that. On the inside of Castle Fun Park, you'll find two indoor putt-and-bounce courses and various arcade games upstairs, pool tables, shuffle boards, things like that. It's not bad. It's a good place to hold a party. If you don't like children and you don't like people, don't come here. On the other end of that, if you want to buy drugs, it's been, um, it's been speculated that this is a good place to come to buy drugs. So there you go. Some cyclists. Sorry. Oh, might know one of those guys. Maybe. Anyways. This is Castle Fun Park. That mountain up there is Ledgeview or McKee Peak. And uh, I run up and down that thing for fun. But this is East Abbotsford. And uh, there's not much more to the city after this overpass. Okay, shall we? You can see the proximity to the highway. There's constant traffic here on this. It takes about 10 minutes to get from Chilliwack to Abbotsford once you're on the highway from number three road to Whatcom. Here we have one of, I think we have 10 hotels, big big hotels not we i don't live here anymore this one is the the newest i believe it's fairly nice uh conference center as you can see and then we have a little fire hall 
fire rescue. Here is Parallel Marketplace. We'll go up here. Now this, I think, is about 10 years old, this marketplace. So they tried that outdoor outdoor uh, what am i looking for plaza theory nice liquor store um there's a co-op grocery store here fitness store yoga store all sorts of things here hair cutting coffee bistro animal hospital hi there um what else do we got here there's a bank um, Maru Sushi, and um, there's some electric car charging spots. Now, I'm not sure how old this plaza is. It's not very old. It was exciting when uh, they opened it because it was on our end of the um, city, which is nice. Because before that, there wasn't much out here in terms of shopping and stores and shops. All right, onward to, where are we gonna go next? We're gonna head west. We're gonna cut through the city here. This little stretch of road we're on right now is very, um, very, how do I say this? It's, it's a, next to a playground zone. So it's only 30 kilometers an hour through here. You do get people that rip through here because they're assholes. Um, I've actually got a speeding ticket because I came down that hill you see up ahead. And before I knew it, I didn't realize I was speeding. Uh, some soccer fields. There's some ball diamonds here. This is called Delaire Park. Kind of old. We actually, um, we used to live right around here. Actually up this, I believe it was up this street. And over there. Anyways. Yeah. Onward. Something's flicking around here. Oh, it's my helmet. Muscle White Cemetery to your right. Shall we? Now Abbotsford is comprised of, I'd say, now I'm just pulling this off the top of my head, I can put up some official Wikipedia demographics. It's about 50% Sikh and East Indian population. And the rest being, um, you know, your mix of Asian and Caucasian, mostly Caucasian. And you can start dividing that group up into your Christians and your non-Christians. Yes, uh, Abbotsford is quite the Bible-thumping town. Can I say Bible-thumping? Well, hell yeah. Um, now, this is all tongue-in-cheek, but there is a lot of reality of it. Uh, there's a lot of reality to what I'm saying. This is from my point of view. So, you know, take it easy. I moved here uh, in 97 from Montreal. Prior to that, I lived in Calgary, Kananaskis, Canmore, um, North Battleford, Saskatchewan, Swift Current, Saskatoon. So I, I've been around. I, I've lived in a bunch of different cities. So I got a little bit of um, 
experience I would say living in other cities when I moved here I was shocked at the clickiness of Abbotsford now that is due to the half of the population being Indo and Sikh and then your Christians and if you weren't Christians well, you had your small little group of people over here is one of the bigger high schools Yale secondary uh, Linda's kids went here Allison and Derek and a couple of our nephews went there as well to your left is the ARC, Abbotsford Recreational Center. So it's got an indoor track. It's a small one, but it's indoor. It's got a pool and gyms and courts. It's quite a nice facility. We used to do try nights here when we lived in Abbotsford. Every Friday night, me and a group of people would come here and we'd do a, a sprint triathlon every Friday night. And it was very social and very enjoyable and well, I really miss it. And they have an ice rink in here, like a big hockey rink. And they also have a smaller rink for kids. Very nice facility. Of course, due to COVID, it was closed for most of the last year. Uh, so now it's the ARC. So you, as you can see, there there are some facilities in the um, in the city of Abbotsford. There is another complex very similar to this called MEC. Is it MEC? No, I'm not sure. MCR A. Anyways, Matsqui, MRC, that's what it is, everybody. MRC, Matsqui Recreational Center. And they've got a massive wave pool and a gym. And I think that's it in there. They don't have a hockey rink or anything like that. There's a hockey rink right next to it. All right, let's get out of here. We're headed towards what is known as Old... Abbotsford because when Abbotsford started it was primarily a bedroom community or a suburb where people slept and then worked in other cities like Langley, Surrey, uh, Vancouver, what have you. That big white bubble is the indoor tennis courts. Uh, yeah, so, and then it was a farming community and a, and a bedroom community. Well, that's how she started. Now, what I find particular about Abbotsford, and we're, and this is aside from the clickiness of the population, and a lot has changed over the years in, in that regard, but you still have your, excuse me if I say so, a very large, judgmental, hypocritical Christian community here in Abbotsford. And basically all it is is um, marketing, and, not marketing, what am I trying to say? Networking for business, and just to judge the shit out of each other and everybody else. Uh, yeah, let's let's leave it at that. So here we're coming down into what was known as Old Abbotsford, and basically this is kind of the downtown. You see. Abbotsford doesn't have a proper downtown core like a lot of cities do. They have they have uh, this thoroughfare that we're on, and um, 
it just goes from east to west and all along it as you'll see is just shops and things like that but there is no downtown core like most cities have there's no um, outdoor walking plaza downtown there's no streets or anything like that like a proper downtown core even Chilliwack has that although it's just full of homeless people and drug addicts and thieves uh, they still have one and uh, like I said in another video they're trying to improve the downtown core and they're doing a good job um, you know what no we'll go downtown or we'll their version of the downtown so this is the older part of the city and this is basically what they consider their downtown And uh, it grew westward from here towards Vancouver. Yeah. Huh, interesting. My service light on the motorcycle came on. That's always a pleasant experience. So, yeah. Hemingway's Books and Records, that's been around forever. Now, they've definitely improved on this area of town too they've got some nice restaurants here and they've done a lot of improvements a lot of nice businesses have moved in dollarama <laughs> good lord i'm hitting every bloody red light there is hi there go ahead yeah so there's definitely doing their part down here but this is it as far as the downtown core goes that was it what are y'all yelling about um up ahead here is known as five corners because apparently there's five intersections that converge on this spot mm -hmm. this is gonna be a long video yeah, I won't have time to drive all the main streets and so forth. So we're sort of still in what is considered downtown Abbotsford. And what we just passed through is what is considered an actual downtown. And the rest is like this. It's a strip. Yeah. Butcher shops, hobby shops, all sorts of things. Uh, White Spot restaurant, we've eaten there lots. Um, yeah. Let's not get killed, shall we? All right. Massive Sikh temple to your left. And on your right is another Sikh temple, one of the original Sikh temples to Abbotsford. Forget how old it is, but it's fairly old. Coming around the corner to your left, you see that CIBC bank? That used to be an Earl's, not the building. It was an Earl's restaurant there, and they tore it down and put up a bank. I don't know why these businesses do that sometimes, but uh, they do. Behind it is our, our is the main mall of Abbotsford. I keep saying our, like I live here. I don't. Thank God. Uh, yeah, so it is a big, big-ass mall. And it's called... Seven Oaks. Seven Oaks Shopping Mall. So, as far as malls go, it's not bad. It's quite big. Lots of things they offer in there. Spent my time in there shopping. I'm not going to lie. And then next to it, on the other side, is called 
West Oaks Shopping Mall, which is just a strip mall. Um, it's got the London Drugs and Save On and things like that right there. So you got two malls together. And again, this is downtown. This is considered downtown Abbotsford. So Seven Oaks and West Oaks. A lot of exterior entrances to the shops, but there is a main entrance that you can go inside as well. There you go. Um, for those of you not in Canada and you're watching this, every town has a Canadian tire. What's a Canadian tire? Well, it's just a shop. It's a, it's a store that owns a little bit of everything. Owns, offers. Speak much? Oh offers a little bit of everything it's automotive centric but it, they they branch out into everything nowadays yeah so that was kind of the, <laughs> the downtown once the downtown or is not lovely not much to it it serves the community etc etc um yeah, quick thinking. So here we have the city hall, law courts, the main fire hall, and Abbotsford Police Station. Right in front of us is the newish, newer building, Abbotsford Law Courts. And then next to it, as I'll show you guys, is the University of Fraser Valley campus. One of, I believe, three. One is in Chilliwack, right beside the house. One is on the south side of Abbotsford, and then there's this little one here. Let's go check it out. So, it's a nice little area. This is also the Abbotsford Regional Library, is right here, straight in front of us. And then the University of Fraser Valley, Clearbrook Center. I'm going to just hang a U turn here. Man, I might just run out of battery here so there's no there is two water features in uh, Abbotsford by that I mean like there's there is a lake it's called Mill Lake we'll go to that next inside the center and there's there's trails and things that run throughout the city in fact the Trans Canada Trail the TCT that runs throughout the city and there's green parks scattered all over the place here and there um, yeah so not not bad Mill Lake I believe it's a man-made lake actually it was built by a friend of mine's grandparents way back when Abbotsford was just a pioneer town and made the lake to mill logs on and after that they just kept the lake we'll take you around to the other side here the uh, older law courts I'm not sure what this building is anymore So yeah, they've got their parks and, and stuff, but it's just, oh, they don't have very much in terms of a Matsqui Centennial Auditorium, that's what that is.
And here we have the City Hall. Now it's for the City Hall. Yeah. And then straight ahead is the Abbotsford Police Station. Yeah. And there's the law courts that I pointed out. All right, let's... We'll head to... That's, that's really it in terms of features of this town, city. There's one more massive mall, it's called High Street, and it's on the west of uh, it. It's out in Mount Lehman, which is the last exit outside of Abbotsford. And um, it's an outdoor plaza. It's the newest commercial sort of development of the city. It's massive, it's kind of cool. It's, it's well made. I personally think it shouldn't have been built in West Albertsford. I think it should have been built in East Albertsford. Uh, just my two cents. Hmm. As I said, there's plenty of little parks all over the place. Albertsford has a uh, very large police force because... Uh, crime is rampant in the lower mainland British Columbia. It is rampant. And I'll go off on a little tangent here. All you people that are against the police and defund the police and anti-police, you really need to give your heads a shake and maybe punch yourself in the face a few times while you're at it. I have a lot of friends who are in the uh, Abbotsford Police and the RCMP. And if you only knew half of the stuff these guys had to deal with, you'd be amazed. Crime is rampant in Abbotsford and Chilliwack. Like I said, most of the Lord mainland. People need to uh, pull their heads out of their asses and be thankful that we have such a professional law enforcement at our disposal. All right, this is the back side of that mall I was showing you, West Oaks. You can see the sign there. Straight ahead is Seven Oaks. But we're going to go right on Emerson. And go to Mill Lake. Are you all still with me here? A little tour. So, yeah, it's pretty cool here, but it's just like I said, it's a it's average. A couple of real cool things about it. It's super close. To the United States of America. Okay, let's I forget how to get down there. I don't want to go just here. All right, make your move. Make your move, honey. We're gonna get to it another way, but since I'm here, I'll show you something quick. That building you can see through the trees. There's an outdoor pool there, and I've had the pleasure of doing outdoor laps in it when I was in the height of my triathlon training. The rest of the park and the lake is that way, and you can't see it from here, so let's fix that problem, shall we? Uh, what was I on about last? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, there's just not much... 
to really brag about. It's close to the States. It's a little closer to Vancouver. That's it. I mean, it's through no, nobody's fault. I mean, it's just the way it's been designed. It's There's not much going on. We're on Bevan. I've run the shit out of this road. There's a little forest area. Very similar to what I've got right across the street from where we live. Oh, let's see if I can get us closer to Mill Lake. There's another um, sort of lake water feature park on the west side of Abbotsford. I'm not going to take you there, but there is. It's, and it's nice, and there's a boardwalk path, and you know, some nature, and yeah, stuff like that. Wow. I um, wonder why my service light's on. So, this is part of Mill Lake, big green and grass area. You got your kids' playgrounds all over the place. It's actually a nice little feature outdoor. The lake is that way, you can't really see it from here. You can't get close to it with a vehicle, and I think that's by design. <laughs> nah, ah, ah. Yeah. Um, what else can I show you? Again, that's, that's really it. I'm sure I'm missing something, and, uh, you know, if I am, and you're from Abbotsford, and you want to tell me about it, feel free. So, big green space, super nice. The other water park feature... That's in the west side of Abbotsford. It is nowhere near this size. So. Yeah. We'll go around it. Uh, Caleb went to this school for one year. The catchment changed from where we used to live, so... He, whether we moved to Chilliwack or not during that time of our lives, he had to go to this middle school. So, yeah. That's that. We're still on Bevan. We're going up Ware. We'll be going north on Ware. Am I signaling? Yeah, look at that I am. This, during school season, this intersection is massively busy because you have people going to the middle school there's a high school right up behind us there's also the uh, thoroughfare of Ware Street which we're on that goes north south and connects downtown air quotes downtown with um, another thoroughfare that connects to the highway. So, Mill Lake still to our left. Like I said, it's a massive park. That's really it. So if we keep going up here... Oh, man. To, if I take this Borkwin Crescent to the left, we will get to the mall. Go to the mall, but we're not going to go to the mall. Nope. And there's pockets of new housing developments all throughout the city. I'm not going to show you all those. Just the basics. Now, if you recall, we came up this road. 
There's the white spot I mentioned before. We're back on South Fraser Way. And we head east back to the old downtown core. And then um, back home. So that's really it for good old Abbotsford. Now when I compare it to other cities, I love big cities, I love density, I love cities that have a downtown core, I love cities that are super close to lakes and rivers. That's why we went to Chilliwack, because we have the Fraser River there. No, it's not the Fraser, you idiot. It's the uh, Vetter River. And we also have Chilliwack Lake. And we also have Cultus Lake. So, I like it. You know, we can do without all the crime. This is another area of town that um, is undergoing a lot of beautification, I guess you want to say. The town hall here used to call be called uh, the Duke of Dublin. And it's on its fourth owner, I think. And I think the town hall group is here to stay with this one. Really nice area uh, of town. They've done a lot to improve it. it. Used to be really scuzzy. There's my dentist that uh, takes all my money. Oh gosh, don't get me started on dentists. Oh my gosh. Legalized extortion, if ever there was. Yeah, I had many, uh, many a good time at the town hall. What they have on, I believe it's Saturday and Sunday, they have uh, $6 breakfast. How can you beat that? So awesome. This uh, Valley Reali Reality huh. um, used to be uh, a Greek restaurant. It was very nice. And of course, uh, Champagne and Lace, where everybody in Oxford goes for their bridal stuff. You know, spend thousands and thousands of dollars on a dress you wear once. Anyways, here we go. So, that way is running parallel to the way I came in. We're just on the other side, that's all. Just a different way to get out of the city. Uh, I used to run up and down this road for years when I lived here. I've done it a few times in the last year and a half. We've got another strip mall up here. That's, uh, that's it. I don't know, maybe you think it's a, a nice little town. I mean, it's not the worst shithole around, but to me, it's just really blah, take it or leave it. When we moved to Chilliwack, it was awesome. and still is awesome. And you can see why so many people from Abbotsford come out to Chilliwack. All right. This is... The uh, going on to Highway 11, Sumas Way. Yes, there's several Sumas Ways. This goes north south, south north. If you if you keep going north on this, we're heading south. But if you go north, you end up at Mission, which is another town on the other side of the Fraser River. Now I can call it the Fraser River. We're heading south. We're going to go to our old home where we used to live. 
And if you keep going further south, you go to the United States. So this is a major artery in East Abbotsford. Uh, what else can I tell you guys? That's really about it. There's a Walmart over there somewhere. Lots of gas stations here because the highway is just up here. Highway number one. And it runs, uh, you know, across Canada. That's it. I just don't have a taste for it. Like I said, I came from Montreal, which is steeped in history. It's old. It is, there's just, it's exciting. That's what it is. You go downtown Vancouver, it's exciting. Endless amounts of things to do. Endless. Same with Montreal. You know, same with Calgary. It's just endless. Even in Chilliwack. You don't get bored in Chilliwack. There's so much outdoor stuff you can do. There's so many mountains and lakes and rivers to enjoy. It's just incredible. You come to Abbotsford, and that's what I said. It's so unimaginative. It's just... Ugh. Nothing really going on. So up ahead, as you can see, you can either go right into, uh, head into Vancouver, or you go left and you go back to Chilliwack. You know, where all those mountains are. <laughs> right now we're heading south on the number 11, Seamass Way. We'll go through the old neighborhood and we'll call her quits. We'll end it there. Sorry, I can't really fluff it up and make, uh, you know, make it sound like I work for the tourist board of Abbotsford. I just can't. Just a blase city. And we never thought twice to move out. We're gone. As I said, you can see right there, U.S. border, three kilometers away. <sighs> yeah. If I had to pick one thing I really miss about Abbotsford, It would be our proximity to the United States because we go down lots. We go to Bellingham lots. Now I don't, I don't particularly miss our house per se in Abbotsford. It's a place to raise some kids. And we split. We left. It was no thing. But the proximity to the States was so close that we would walk across all the time. Go to their restaurants and shops. And I would used to buy a lot of my fitness equipment like running gear and triathlon and swimming and all sorts of stuff. You buy it on online and you get it shipped to the United States and you walk across and go get it super cheap uh, yeah and uh, you might be able to notice the big box the big box to your right mm-hmm Twenty five years there, man. Twenty five years. That's the big box. So when we did live here in Abbotsford, it was a 
three minute commute from our old home to work. And we had so many people. Oh, your commute went from three minutes to 30 minutes. And so, yeah, so what? Look where we live. We're so much happier. We have so much more going on when we're not at work. What are you, what are you living for? What are you living for? We're fine with the commute. It's, there's a phenomenon. I don't know if it's a phenomenon. I don't know if that's the right word. There's what Linda and I have noticed is that be, people that are born and raised in Abbotsford. They don't leave. They stay here. I, you know, whatever. There's nothing wrong with that. But what I mean is, they don't go outside of Abbotsford very often. We know so many people that... Um, so we're on 4th Avenue, sorry. We're on 4th Avenue. This is where we used to live. So we didn't live right in Abbotsford, again, thank God, by choice. This area is actually called Huntington area. So this is where we uh, got married and raised our family and then sold it. Here's Tom and Deb's place to the left. That's our old house, the white house with green trim. Gary and Darcy's place. Yeah. A little park right across the house for the kids. Farm field. Hey, see, we didn't live right in Abbotsford ever. Thank God. Uh, so what was I saying before that? Not, this is our old neighborhood. Oh my gosh, I can't even remember what I was saying. Is it something about the United States of America? Oh yeah. What we noticed... Yeah, people from Abbotsford, they don't go anywhere. They're, the thought of them going into Vancouver for an afternoon or overnight, it horrifies them. Now, obviously, let's take you one step closer. Obviously, I don't mean everybody, but we do know more people who are unwilling to leave Abbotsford for some enjoyment than leave it. So like I said, I used to order stuff, buy stuff in the United States and have it shipped within the United States and you just park here, so you park here and you walk across, get your package. So yeah, what you're seeing right here is the U.S. Canadian border so right in front of us here this building here that is the um, Canadian side where you come back and you can see the lights way in the in the background that's the uh, US side so you just walk along here walk into their pedestrian side produce your identification ask for permission to enter their country to pick up goods that you've purchased inside the United States and then you walk back and then you come in here and get in your car and you leave. That's how, that's how close we were, people. So that's, that's it. That's Abbotsford, really. That's Abbotsford in a, in a nutshell. I'll tell you a funny story because we're so close. Turn this thing off. We had a, a chow lab. And, um, no messages. We had a chow lab at one time. Or no, was this our, we had a Doberman lab as well. It was the Doberman lab. Well, one day 
he ran into the United States. Jax. She. She ran into the United States. And I'll show you where she got in. It's through here. Up, over, like that, those houses there, they're in the United States. So, I had to walk across, go into the, the pedestrian side of the U.S., go through my entering interview. <laughs> and where are you going? Well, it turns out my dog has run into your country without permission. Of course, they laugh about it. They laugh about it. All right, and good luck. So I go, I collect the dog. So this all used to be undeveloped right here, and all this was just field when we lived there in uh, like 90, well, 2000. So basically 20 years ago, this was all just field. No houses here. Uh, so yeah, I go and I collect our dog Jax, bring her into the Canadian side. And this is where all the bullshit went on. So I get called up to the officer. Yeah, what are you doing? Um. I think he ran in this way. Anyways, that's the United States right there, people. Right there. This is Zero Ab. So I said, look, my dog ran into the... Got away from us, ran away, ran into the States. I've just gone down to collect them and bring him back. Do you have papers for your dog? Oh, what are you talking about? Papers. So there's the international border marker right there. Um, yeah, it's good old United States. That's how bloody close we are. I said, sir, what, what, papers for what? Well, your dog needs to be quarantined. You can't just have pets coming and going. I said, well, man, are you kidding me? She ran away from our home, which is on 4th Avenue, get, came in. I'm just here to collect her. I haven't been down. We haven't been down traveling or vacationing or visiting. Yes, I understand that, he says. But you have to have papers for your dog. Oh, I don't understand what kind of rabies shots. There's this rabies tag right there. Her rabies tags. There's her license, because I think at the time we had them licensed. What papers are you talking about? Well, vet papers that, and I'm like, vet papers? Dude, we don't ever bring this dog down on a vacation with us. So we don't have vet papers, we have rabies tags. And he was just getting, he was just being an asshole. Anyways. Finally let us go. Just scratch my head. Because sometimes if you go down, if you bring your pet into the States, you vacation. Sometimes, uh, I'm not 100% sure on this, but you have to quarantine your dog at a kennel there before you can bring it across if you've been away for a while. I may be wrong, I don't know, but if your dog runs away from your home and fucks off into the United States and you beeline it with your passport on foot to go get them, the last thing you're thinking about is papers. <sighs> Anyways, anybody who says they have so much problems with crossing into the United States with the U.S. people. I'll tell you what. It's because you're being an asshole. I have had zero problems. And you saw how close we used to live. I would go into the United States three times a week to get packages, whatever. 
go for something to eat, go have a beer. I've never had issues with the United States. It's the Canadian people I've had issues with. Now, I haven't had many. In fact, probably only three or four. But I've never had problems. And I just think, I, real think, I really, really think that if you are an asshole, you're going to run into problems going into the States. You act like it's a right. It's not your right. Should I scoot? Nah. One more stop and then we're done, everybody. Oh, of course. You, you really are going left, aren't you? Yes, of course. Of course you are. Um, one last stop. Upper Sumas Elementary to your right. That's where all our kids went to elementary school. Derek, Allison, Caleb, that's where Braden and Connor, my sister's kids, went to elementary school. That's where uh, my sister's husband, Brian, and his brothers and sisters went. They all went here. That's the best thing about Abbotsford, is this country school. Best teachers around. Fantastic experience for all of them. Super close to our house, as you can see. Absolutely love it. That was the best thing about Abbotsford, is that school. Look at that, nice little playground. Huge yard for them to play in. Absolutely fantastic. Not a lot of dogs in there, but what you gonna do? It's summertime, man. Yes, all right, people. Let's just pull over quickly here, say our goodbyes. Thanks for watching. That's my tour of Abbotsford. <sighs> Again, there's a Ledge View McKee Peak Mountain. I run up and down. East Abbotsford. Yeah. <sighs> That's all I got, people. I don't have much love for Abbotsford. I get you. I guess you understand that now. Okay, heading home. Let's see what this uh, service BS is all about. Thanks for watching. One last thing. Shameless plug. That's my uh, sister's husband's farm. Birchwood Dairies Farm Market. Milk and ice cream. Fantastic little farm. If you're visiting, go and get some ice cream. You'll be glad you did. It's right up here. Again, about a kilometer away from the uh, elementary school. You can imagine how many school tours come to the farm because it is a functioning dairy farm. There it is, everybody. Birchwood Dairies. My sister's probably there working right now. <laughs> See you later. Oh, that Eagle Mountain, that almost, that used to be entire forest, woodland. And you can see how much it's being developed. It's just crazy. That's progress. All right. Thanks for watching.